Hello everybody and welcome to your 11th C++ Made Easy HD tutorial. So we've, we've learned a, quite a bit and now we're going to be uh, delving into the world of while loops. So I think this is going to be relatively easy for you guys since it, it more resembles a uh, statement rather than a for loop. So we, we did kind of the hard stuff last tutorial, but in this tutorial we're going to be doing, we're going to go back to kind of an easier loop, I, I, I guess. So we're going to be doing the same thing we did last tutorial, but in this tutorial we're going to be using a while loop rather than a for loop. And generally, like, once you do, like, game programming or something like that, uh, the... The while loop is going to be your main loop for your game loop, and the for loop is going to be doing some underlying stuff. But the while loop is basically a loop until a condition is met, okay? Just like an if statement. So the condition, so the syntax I mean for the while loop is if I erase this. Uh, okay, I'll erase this right here. So the syntax for a while loop is while. And then your condition or your statement, what, what condition has to be met, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, just like an if statement. So, uh, for the while loop, uh, for this scenario, our condition is going to be if uh, we're going to remake our variable count, and we'll set it equal to one. So we're going to say if count is less than or equal to amount so that is our condition so as long as count is less than or equal to amount then we're going to continue with our uh, with our program so what we're going to do is we're going to copy and paste this into here so we got our, our stuff right here, but the last thing that we would have to do is we'd have to increment count by one ourselves. Okay, so everything is going to remain the same, uh, but the, the difference is that with a for loop, what we would do is that we would declare our variable we're counting with, and then we would, uh, after, we would at, say how much we're going to increment by. What we're doing this time is that we're declaring our variable beforehand, and then we're incrementing our variable at the end of our while loop down here. So generally, if you're going to be doing something like this, like this code over here, use a for loop. Uh, uh, honestly, it's easier. It's better to use a for loop. It's a better format, etc., etc. But uh, I'm just showing you how a while loop works. But we're going to be using the while loop for a different purpose when we use uh, when we create the calculator. But uh, I believe this uh, this is a good example, easy example to show you the transition between the two different loops. So uh, to test out, see how it's gonna work. So I'm gonna say four. I'm gonna say 45, uh, 65, 78, 87, and therefore it calculates our average for that. So I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna leave that as a very short tutorial, so you guys don't get really bored. The next tutorial we're going to be talking about a do while loop, and a do while loop is uh, uh it's a one it's probably the one of the least common things because anything you do with a do while loop you can do with a regular while loop, uh but uh, we will I'll show you what it does next tutorial. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and bye.